patient tell me that when they were at the gate this morning, a gentleman had drove from Georgia with his kids in the car to come and get service because there's nowhere to get care. There's an ache in his Won't you help me escape? I'm the executive director for Project Access. Project Access is a nationally recognized healthcare delivery model. Most of the patients that we see are kind of the sick of the sick. We also have some people who have high education degrees, worked their entire lives, had insurance, and then got sick and lost their coverage, have no income, and have never had to ask for help before. Mobile Clinic is largely impactful for providers, for patients, and for volunteers. Krista, my name's Ann. Nice to meet you. I'm Dave Maurer, I'm a registered nurse, and I'm a core volunteer with Remote Area Medical based out of Knoxville, Tennessee. This clinic in particular has done a wonderful job of lining up outside community resources. And we're all about trying to help people however we can. I appreciate y'all coming out. Let me start by saying I had no idea when I came here I would be teaching uh, nursing students and nurses themselves. Now, what are some common types of opioids that we got? Heroin, yes, perfect heroin. That's uh, one of the top ones in this area here. I left Florida to get away from drugs and come up here, and then they a whole different kind of drugs. Well, where I live, it's from the house I can see down the hills, 600 acres of nothing but trees. A friend of mine come up here and stayed last night. She told me just before she left, she said, I'm going up there and I'll go up there tomorrow morning. She said, I'm going to go stay tonight. I try to tell most of my family about this and uh, still a lot of them have trouble with getting rides to places like this. I am Vicki and I came to the RAM today to get a flu shot and get my eyes vision checked. I drive a school bus and we are contracted so we don't have state or any kind of insurance like that. My insurance, I don't have no dent, I want no vision. This is just a blessing for us to have access to this. Hi, my name is Trina Romero Munoz and I'm a senior at Purdue Northwest. When we think vulnerable population right away, we think minorities, but now you see it's not just the minorities, it's also the white community. We'll just throw them out thinking they don't have a disparity when we all do. RAM is a good intervention, especially to our country. We need this for sure in Indiana. There's so much healthcare disparities in our own state. really excited about the possibility for some of our underserved populations getting access to care. Um, Gary is certainly a community that's filled with very good people who need assistance and I would love to have either the city of Gary or a couple organizations step up and help with transportation there and since we're offering this wonderful opportunity it would be wonderful to have folks get there however we can help them get there. Everyone is so amazed and so happy that we came from Indiana all the way down here to help them. So I'll carry that with me forever. And I hope when I am a nurse and when I do get my license, I continue with this. It's so much work, but it's worth it. <laughs> it has profound impact on their lives. Yeah.